this is the combination manual shading technique. So it's a combination of two techniques. We're going to look at standard microblading combined with shading. Uh, you would have probably quite commonly seen this as a, an emerging look done with machine, but it can be created just as easily, just as beautifully with manual tools. So that's what we're going to have a look at with this setup. I've got a slant blade, an 11, I think this actually is an 11 or a 12 slant or flat blade here. And the first thing that we do when we're doing this combination technique is to put in our strokes. Our strokes are the more delicate part of the technique. We want to get those in first and then we will pop some shading in. We want to be able to hold our shape. So I am gonna go around the majority of the outline creating a skeleton with my strokes so that we have that and then we'll have a look at the shading. So my strokes at the front with microblading, I always start with what I call my two sisters. So I push and twist into the latex. And one just parallel next to it, creating two strokes, very nice and close to each other, not crossing, not hugging, just next to each other. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna create the same thing next to that. So we've got four strokes at the front at the moment. Now, how many strokes you put in at the front will depend on the length of the brow. It will depend on how soft and fluffy you want the front to look um, and overall on the look that you're wanting to create. But I'm thinking I'm probably gonna take strokes up to about this section here. Um, I'm gonna take strokes along the top part um, and then the bottom I'm going to shade. So I'm gonna carry on as I would in the skin. Just working these kind of pairs of strokes. You can do um, pairs, you can do um, triplets when you get to the larger part of the brow where the strokes are going to start bending over we might turn into three and we're just starting our transition here where our strokes just start going from going upwards to going downwards along the top part of the brow. So those are our head strokes there. If I were working with the client, I'd be working around the client, but in this case, I'm moving my latex around as I work. And I'm gonna come along the top part of the brow creating my top strokes working nice and flatly along that line not bringing the strokes too far down into the body of the brow moving along the tail and towards the tip of the tail. So then we have the strokes that move along the top. Now, if you're not confident with this technique, you can go along and create strokes all the way along the bottom. If I was working in the skin, at this point, I'm not gonna wipe. I'm gonna leave those strokes to soak nicely. And I'm gonna change over 
to my shading blade because if I wipe at this point and if I haven't put any strokes along the bottom, I'm going to lose this line, I'm going to lose this outline. So this shading blade here that I have is a double, what they call a double road shading blade. There are two sets of flat blades and I'm going to work just along my outline. Kind of using that push and flick technique. I'm just setting my shape at this point. Working along. Like so. And what I also do at this point as well is just to work through the brow a little bit. And we can work this in kind of a circular fashion. You see I'm kind of dotting around in a, in a circular motion like this. Or you can go straight up and straight down. At this point I really am just breaking through the skin so that we can put some secondary anaesthetic on there and make sure that our client is nice and comfortable while we work. So we've got the basics in, hopefully. You can check in your client's skin in the similar way that you might do if you were doing um, a total ombre brow, which is just to use either a small piece of cotton wipe or a cotton bud, just to go through a section and just check that you've got some pigment in the skin. And if you've got some pigment in the skin, you can go ahead and wipe. You know that you've saved your shape adequately. So there's our strokes through the front and we've got a little bit of this shading going on, just enough to have broken the skin. Um, we've got that nice line in the bottom um, and now we're going to just build that up. So we don't want to take it necessarily all the way to the top of these strokes. Knowing the principles that we know of, knowing that the, or wanting the bottom of the brow to be more dense than the top, we work from the top to the bottom, doing our kind of pushing and tapping. I'm just gonna rearrange my latex, make that easy for me. And each time we go, we want to overlap a little bit of the last bit that we've done. That stops getting the stripey effect that you might get otherwise. So here I'm just going bottom to top. Doing that pushing and flicking motion. Tap, tap, tap in the skin. And when I get to these strokes that are a bit wider, I might want to just change the direction of my shading blade just so that the shading kind of works nicely with the direction of any strokes that are there. I don't want to shade all the way to the front, but I might do a little bit of a blend in. And then we're going to have another wipe and see how we're getting on. So you see we have already more colour layered up, layered through. And then our third pass, we're going to work in the same way. We're going to go from the bottom to the top, but we're not going to go all the way to the top this time. We're just going to work probably about three quarters of the way up the brow. Tap in the skin, tap and flick motion. I 
overlapping a little bit each time we go along. four or five times from the bottom to the top on each pass is what I'm doing if you see I'm kind of going one two three four five or one two three four five six but I'm kind of going up and down three or four times each time I'm doing the shading and then towards the front a little bit more sporadically just through those strokes We can see where that colour is building. I just want to pay a little bit more attention to those areas. And then we're going to do the same thing again. But we're just going to work along the bottom part. And this is how we're building up that colour. moving along now you can kind of cross hatch you can go this way if you feel like you're getting some um, darker areas or some areas with some lines if you're using these blades you can do a little bit along the bottom and then some kind of cross hatching through to blend out And then we're going to have another wipe, see where we are. And really at this point, I mean, looking at the latex, latex always takes the pigment a little bit differently to skin, but we can start doing that kind of perfecting that we would ordinarily, if we were looking at the skin, just making sure that those bits between the strokes have got some nice soft shading between at the top. Um, if there are any areas which are slightly lighter, we can target those by turning this blade slightly on its side, this shader. We can go along that bottom row again to give it a little bit more intensity wanting to tidy that up a little, not overdo it. Just fill in these little areas maybe where they could do with a little pixel or two.
And there we have it. There is a manually shaded combination brow.